All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rachachakwarash. Double honors as always to the apostles, the elders at Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutation as always goes to the elect. All right, those of you who are coming back to the Most High in these latter days due to sacrifice made by His only begotten Son, Hamashiach Yahweh Shai, in whom we have received, all right, the Holy Spirit, Rachachwarash. All right, so that we can stand on our feet in these latter days, repent. All right, um, call upon Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, get ourselves together for this great and dreadful day that's coming to the planet Earth. All right, and specifically here in Babylon the Great, all right, where the bulk of the prophets, all right, are uh, prophesying as well as scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. All right, uh, you brothers and sisters who are in the right spirit, man, Shalom. And salutations unto you. Continue to fight the good fight. All right, we're almost out of here. I wanted to do a, a lesson um, going into uh, Second Edges, the seventh chapter, um, from 41, you know, pretty much on down, you know, as far as we can go. All right, because we're living in the times where uh, great miseries are going to come upon, you know, the two thirds of our people. All right, those who. Uh, have made decisions contrary to the Holy Spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Now, that doesn't mean we ain't going to catch hell. That doesn't mean we ain't, even some of us ain't going to, you know, go back to the spiritual realm. But many great miseries are prepared for those who forsake the holy way. All right. We were sent, all right, uh, to stand on our feet in these latter days, starting with the servants, the prophets, to do what? You know, prophesy, tell our people to turn back to the Heavenly Father. All right. And as you can see, this world is lying in more and more wickedness. And that was a sign for our people to say, well, damn, these men are right. What they're, what they're saying is right. All right. But we've been rejected. You know, we've been uh, mocked. We've been laughed at as we have in times past. All right. And for you brothers who are out laboring and prophesying, this is the last go round where the prophets are going to have to, you know, uh, 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 suffer. You know, these things this is why the scriptures say, uh, fear not the incredulity, which is the unbelief. All right. Because you have a lot of unbelievers. You still have scoffers and scorners. All right. And though it's an, uh, uh, annoying, it's needed. All right. As the book of Philippians say, all right. Um, you know, don't be terrified of your adversaries, but understand, you know, the, the, they're sent there for their, their destruction, but for your glory. OK. And you're going to have many family members, people who you were cool with in the world. You're going to you're going to start to see them suffer some very, very uh, detrimental things. All right. And marvel not at those things. All right. Um, we have to prepare our minds to see things that are like, whoa, okay, because the Heavenly Father, His Word is not going to go out void. The things that the prophets have been saying, starting with our apostles and elders and the elders before them, all right, uh, they're coming to pass, okay? So now that these things are coming to pass, uh, we can't be like, oh, shit, Lord, no, 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 wait a minute, wait, I, I wasn't ready. The Lord gave us this grace period so that we can be ready, all right, and the Word is going out. All right, we still have uh, a few more prophecies set, which is the uh, MOTB and, you know, what's that, uh, Armageddon, which is World War III, and all of them, both of those are just about there, okay? So everything is right on schedule, all right, and uh, the elect is waking up, all right? The, the, the sincere men, all right, uh, who are raised up teaching, and the rest of the believers, the rest of the men, women, and children there, hey, we're here. All right, so I'm going to start here in 2nd Ezra, the 7th chapter, and hopefully you're comforted by these words. This is 2nd Ezra, the 7th chapter, and the 41st verse, it says, Even so now, seeing corruption is grown up, and wickedness increased, and the righteous have prayed for the ungodly, okay? Wherefore, shall it not be so now also? All right? And he's asking a question, all right? Because we're crying for our people to turn back to the Lord, Okay? But they don't want to listen. And things are getting significantly more wicked, man. I mean, the, the, they're coming after our children. Things are getting toxic, okay? It's getting very, very wicked. It's it's a different kind of wickedness than the wickedness when we first woke up. I first woke up in, what, 2007, okay? The world wasn't on, the, the wickedness wasn't on the scale that it is now. Things are significantly worse, okay, as this anti-Messiah system is being set up. And taking root in the earth all right but the heavenly father is going to stop it all right because that's the question i ask myself every night all right every day 
how long, you know, the, 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 is the Lord going to allow this forever? No, hell no. I don't believe that. And that comforts me knowing that we have in the Holy Scriptures the understanding that he is going to stop it. Because where else can you go to understand that he's going to stop it? Christianity? No. Okay, uh, they, 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 they talk about some form of kingdom, but it ain't the throne of David. You're floating around in the sky. Egyptology, you can't go get any comfort from there. All right, so ultimately the comfort comes from the words of the Holy Scriptures, man. Okay, the Holy Spirit, and we've, we've received it from on high. So the world is getting significantly worse. It says, he answered me and said, this present life is not the end where much glory doth abide. All right, therefore have they prayed for the weak. And this is not where glory abides. And in the kingdom of heaven, we're not going to have to teach any of our people to come back to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. This is not the place where we get glory. Now, we are getting going to get some form of fame here as we get, you know, delivered up out of here. And even before that, you know, people are going to know, damn, those, those were the men of the Lord. Those are the Israelites. They were right. All right. But ultimately, our glory comes in the world to come, the kingdom of heaven. OK, so we understand that this world is not where we get the victory at. Now, we have the victory through the Holy Spirit, but within the story, we have to stand on our feet. We have to prophesy. We have to get ridiculed. And this is a great work. It's a mighty work because this is the greatest kingdom that ever, you know, stood on the earth as far as, you know, the the, the beast system that they have, the, the, the riches that they have. And here it is. We're in their face telling them, you got to fall. You're going to fall. You're going to be destroyed. You're wicked. You're wrong. All right. And telling them the truth about the Bible. We're dismantling lies that have ran this world for thousands of years, man. OK, it's specifically uh, 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 since because the lies of the old world are back. But ultimately, since the Renaissance period. OK, going back to the, you know, the, the late 1400s, since Esau has ultimately came out of that a thousand year captivity the the Byzantine Empire. What, what did it say he was going to do? He was going to be loose from prison and go throughout the four corners of the earth and lie. <laughs> That's what he was going to do. He was going to go through the four corners of the earth and lie. And it's going to lead to Gog and Magog. All right, a uh, uh, gathering for war, and that's where we're at. That's why you see Russia. That's why you see all of these things, man. So it says, he answered me. And said, this present life is not the end where much glory doth abide. Therefore, have they prayed for the weak? Because as we say, when we get in the new covenant, we ain't going to have to teach Israel to turn back to the Lord. We're going to teach you heathen. All right, we go slap the damn mouse out of you Moabites' hands. We go slap you Edomites' heads off, telling you to, to not touch little boys and little girls. All right, we're going to establish order in the earth, which this current world lacks order. So if anybody is thinking about going back into the world or you're getting weak to this world, you got demons on you and you ultimately need to pray to Yahweh Bashim Shah to get the demons off of you because this is absolutely wicked and toxic to hell with this world. Look at what's going on here and look what's allowed by the rulers of this world. Okay? There's no righteous judgment going on here, man. So it says, but the day of doom, which is what? The day that we're prophesying of, the days of darkness, man. The day of doom shall be the end of this time and the beginning of the immortality for to come. Immortal, immortality, everlasting life. And it's hard to get through your head because we're so subject to captivity. We're so subject to soda. <laughs> all right. Uh, 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 you know, uh, uh, GMOs, all of these various different limitations we've, you know, uh, grown up and become accustomed to. It's hard for us to imagine immortality and it's supposed to be hard for you to imagine because it's something that we really can't grasp in this body however through the holy spirit we we do we are able to utter these things and prophesy of them because they're written in the scriptures so when a nigga comes telling you immortality ain't immortality all right then he's just exactly what he a nigga all right <laughs> all right you can't quantify immortality and eternal life you can't measure it. You can't put a number to it. And that's hard for us to do because everything we know is based upon uh, 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 you, you, you live, you die. OK, the, the trees, they live for so long after a while they decay. Everything we know is pretty much limited. You, the woman you have, she's you. She's already been with, you know, 12, 20, 50, whatever men. Yeah, 50. All right. 
everything that you ha have is tainted. So to imagine yourself in a situation where you win, especially the Israelite man, it's kind of like, nah, I don't know about that. Well, we, the true men of the Lord, we don't doubt what the Heavenly Father promised us. Immortality is coming. Okay, ten, all of the, the hundredfold, houses, lands, wives, families, children, everything that we've given up to invest in this truth is going to come back to us in abundance, man. And we're going to pass that down as a legacy forever, man. All right. So it says, but the day of doom shall be the end of this time and the beginning of the immortality to come wherein corruption is passed. Intemperance is at an end. All right. <laughs> Intemperance is at an end. Infi infidelity is cut off. Righteousness is grown up. Truth is sprung up. See, and this is where we are. Truth is sprung up in the earth. This is why we're getting ready to be labeled enemies on a whole nother level, all right? Because it's true. This world that we currently live in is based upon lies, lies upon lies upon lies. The lies never stop. And that's why this devil is wiggling around and moving and fretting and trying to, everywhere you look, he's just doing some weirdo shit. Why? Because he got to try to keep up with the lies. That's why the scripture saying in Isaiah 47 chapter, stand now with thine enchantments. The enchantments ain't working no more. Why? Because Jacob's hand is on your heel. And this is why you're you're wearied in all of those councils trying to figure out what can we do next? All right. The, the Travis Scott thing. Now the young, uh, what's this nigga name? Dolph Young. Well, all of these youngs and lils. These are the Edomites throwing enchantments out there to keep people distracted. And they always target Jake because they see you're waking up. So everything is a, a, an attack on your mind in this society. But we have received the truth to stay focused, man. You see, and they don't want a focused Israelite. They want our people here, there, all over the damn place, man, rebelling against the Lord. They're not happy until they see you rebel against the Lord. You see, why Why hasn't rap music and all of these other toxic things that, that uh, uh, our people are involved in been uh, uh, labeled hate speech on YouTube? Hmm? Because they want you there. But see, the day of doom is near. You see? And the truth is sprung up in the earth, all right? Then shall no man be able to save him that is destroyed, nor oppress him that have gotten a victory. And see, this is what this world has been able to do. Uplift evildoers, okay? Uplift wicked people and oppress those who have the true riches, which is the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, which is the, mo that's the welfare of this world. This very world is relying on what we're saying through the Holy Spirit to come true. This is the only message. Everything relies on this message. That's why it says in the book of Romans that the earnest expectation of the creature is that the sons of God be restored to their, their rightful order. Everything wins when we get placed back in order because everything will be able to exist as it is in its rightful order. Men, women, children, plants, bugs, beetles, worms, ants, trees, everything will be restored and be able to do what it was meant to do. OK, that's that order is going to be restored under the sons of God. See, disarray and Babylonian uh, 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 witchcraft is what runs this world. And it's all based upon rebellion of order. You see, but people who 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 push these messages, because these rappers like these rappers, all of these rappers are witches or the, like these singers, these rap, they're all witches and warlocks that are used on the left-hand side to invoke demons into your culture, okay? Rap music was used as a, as a, as a, as a tool to push demons onto the people. Thug, that's a, that's a, 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 a Hindu god, all right? And the, the ancient thugs, what did they used to do? They used to, you know, uh, invite people in or they'll be creeping somewhere or waiting for somebody to pass through on the journey and they rob them, put, put them to death, but now that's the standard of what our people are. Thugs, ho queens, whores, divas. All of these things are Babylonian, Egyptian witch witches and uh, uh, witchcraft that has been thrown into your culture. And you're wearing it now with a badge of honor. But then you hear you're the Israelites and you get mad. Why? Because your enemy has turned your mind against what's right. You're a complete loser. So those of you who want to remain losers 
have at it, have this world, be a thug, be a diva, be a queen, be, be all of that, all right? But we're going to be upstanding citizens of Yasha Allah, all right? The men, women, and children who, who ultimately the Lord has called <laughs> to, to, to win, to get the victory, because let's read it again. Then shall no man be able to save him that is destroyed. So you're not going to be able to save a nigga. You're not going to be able to save Esau, Edom. You're not going to be able to save Moab or, or, or any of these heathen. The two thirds are going to be taken out. You're not going to be able to save them in that day. Why? Because everybody, all right, ultimately righteous judgment is going to stand and the Lord's decision is going to be made. And every soul has a decision placed upon them, given from the foundation of the earth, and you can't run from it. All right. It says, then shall no man be able to save him that is destroyed, <laughs> okay, nor oppress him that have gotten the victory. So th those who are going to uh, lose are going to lose, and those who are going to win are going to win. Then it's going to be made manifest who was right and who was wrong. Prophecy being fulfilled is going to make manifest who was right and wrong. Right now, everybody can still lie. You can go on social media, all right, because a lot of you people are complete assholes, but then you can go to social media and play as if you're this these great niggas, all right? A lot of you Israelites, even on YouTube, you're uh, uh, fooling people because you're using the world to play on Jake, because Jake is an emotional people. So you use the world to play on Jake's flesh. You use these different terms to get them to not really fully uh, listen to the, the true prophets. You throw these little things out, but ultimately you're going to lose if you're not right with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay, and when it's all said and done, the elect are going to be gathered, okay, uh, 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 and win and get the victory, okay? It says, I answered then and said, this is my first and last saying. It had been better, that it had been better not to have given the earth to, unto Adam, or else, when it was given him, to have restrained him from sinning. And Adam represents what? He's the son of the most high, the first on earth, all right? Because you have Yahweh Shai, he's, that, that's, that's the spirit. He was ultimately the first spirit created in the heavens, all right? And then that spirit eventually came down to the earth, and he's the first to receive the wisdom from on high, okay? The knowledge, all right, of the law, statutes, and commandments. It says in 2nd Edges, the third chapter, okay? I always bring this out in the 10th verse. It says, Second Edges, the third chapter, in the seventh verse. I start at five. And gavest a body unto Adam without soul, which was the workmanship of thine hands. Now your soul, okay, because you, you you have a spirit. All right, which is ultimately pure energy, but then you have a soul, which is your 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 intent. All right, your 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 lust what you're into, your purpose on life, in life, okay? Now, eventually, Adam was given the law, statutes, and commandments. Watch, it says, which gave us the body unto Adam, which was the workmanship of thy hand, without soul, and didst breathe into him the breath of life, and he was made living before thee. See, Adam wasn't the first man on the planet Earth, all right? When you read the prior chapter in Genesis, the first chapter, men had been on the earth since the fifth day all right and then eventually they were what fruitful and multiply he gave understanding unto men okay starting with adam okay the understanding of how to run the earth okay and that started the family line the legacy of the sons of god and the sons of the wicked through cain which cain is back through esau okay so it says and thou lettest him into paradise which thy right hand had planted before ever the earth came forward and unto him thou gavest commandment to love thy way which he transgressed okay let me see here give me one second which he transgressed let me just turn it on right which he transgressed and immediately thou appointest death in him and in his generations into whom came nations, tribes, people, kindreds, and out of number. And that's the sons of God. <laughs> what the fuck? 
That was the sons of God, man. Okay? The sons of God, baby. All right? And we're back. And everybody's mad. Okay? Because now that the sons of God are back, the bullshit you've been doing is getting called out. Truth is now here. Okay? So going back to 2nd Edge of the 7th chapter. Okay? Verse 46, it says, I answered then and said, this is my first and last saying. And this is a beautiful chapter, man. When you read second Ezra, now this is the same Ezra from the Bible who ultimately uh, was a part of the rebuilding of the temple at the time of the Persian empire. Now it says, I answered and said, this is my first and last saying that it had been better not to have given the earth unto Adam or else when it was given him to have restrained him from sinning. Well, that would have basically offset the whole movie of the Lord. Okay. This is a movie script ultimately written by the creator. Okay. And, and, and within the movie, the sons of God had to fall in order for us to retain, you know, get the kingdom and be returned to our glory. We had to go through a fall. Okay. We had to go through what the, 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 the fall so that we can understand that wickedness is not the way to go. This is a lesson. Okay. And this is the final captivity and the final time that we have to live in these mortal bodies and go through this mortal way and see the earth in, in disarray. Now the sons of God have been raised back up to what restore order to the earth under the son of God. Okay. So it says, so if the Lord restrained Adam from sinning, ultimately he would have been the savior. You know, then we the, the paradise would have would have continued. Wouldn't have been a flood. We wouldn't have had this. You know, so Ezra's had to get understanding. It says, "For what profit is it for men now in this present time to live in heaviness and after death to look for punishment? Because you come back." He like, damn, you know, Adam really. You know, because when you look at the fall of the sons of God, Adam <laughs> and Solomon, man, that those falls took us all the way back. Um, from Adam's fall, now we deal with, 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 with failure. Solomon's fall, the kingdom was rent because we had 40 years of peace, okay? The kingdom was rent, and ultimately, since then, we haven't been together as a nation. We've been scattered, going through all of these very different captivities, hating one another, okay? Which was all prophecy. We had to go through these things, man, okay? It says... O thou Adam, what hast thou done? All right. For though thou hast sinned, thou art not fallen alone. And that's what the Nephilim means, to fall, the fallen ones. Adam, you didn't fall alone, but also the whole family line that, ex that came from Seth. And look at us now. Okay. This, this fall started with Adam going back. And who's the first to sin? Eve. Okay. The scriptures tell you Eve sinned first. But here it is in 2021, women still don't want to take accountability. Really, it's your fault we're here. You had paradise. And, and, and you can look at these women now. <laughs> I was looking at a, a post, even though these are Edomites, you got uh, uh, witches all, boy, they're all witches, warlocks, and demons. But you got two billionaires, Jeff Bezos and Bill Gates had everything right they got everything but still got divorces women still having women issues here it is eve had paradise she had an order which eve represents the church all right israel the woman you had an order but then you want to go follow after all of these various different ways paradise ain't enough for you order ain't enough for you you want an alternative way to glory and look at us now following after your ass through her, we all die. All right. So this is the beauty of this truth. It, 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 all of us have a responsibility, men and women, to get in order because we all messed up. All right. So it says, oh, thou Adam, what hast thou done? For though it was thou that sinned. Thou art not fallen alone, but we all that come of thee. And when you read Genesis, the fifth chapter, it gives you the sons of God that issue forth from him. 
You got to be able to put everything together, man. Damn demons, man. All right, it says... Get your ugly ass out of here. And Eve, when she's with the Edomite boy, she's just smiling. <laughs> You she, she be around you, she's just dull and quiet. She get around and eat them like, hey, what I, what's that? Huh? Oh boy, stop it, serpent. <laughs> it's, it says I'm gonna get through the rest of this and then we'll close it out, man. It says, uh For what profit is it unto us? If there, if we, if there be promised us an immortal time, whereas we have done the works to bring forth death, well, it's the Lord's will that we had to go through that. Yes, yeah, an immortal time promise, but to get to that immortal time, you got to go through the straight gate. That's what it's all about. Okay, because the Lord could have easily just wrote it to where you know every we were all perfect, the sons of God never fail, but that ain't how the story was written. But at least we're finally here to where we get getting ready to get the hell up out of this place, man. Because this is hell, man. All right, it says. Let me see here. And that there is promised us everlasting hope, whereas ourselves being most wicked are made vain. All right, and that's the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahushua. The creature was made subject to vanity for his purpose. Okay, the Lord wanted to make a statement, just like Esau writes movies, you know, Jake, people write movies, they do what the hell they want with the characters they put in the movie. Well, the Heavenly Father did that with nations of people. And the, the, the chosen nation has went through hell, man. And because of our fall, look at the earth. Order is needed. Order is needed to be restored. And the Lord said he's going to set over it a profitable ruler. That's why Yahweh Shai is known as the second Adam. Okay, because when he came as Yahawashai, notice it was Eve that made Adam fall. It was women that made Solomon fall. He came as Yahawashai. He got it right, which in, which which unlocked the power. The temple was rent. Now we have access. Now we can be brought back to glory. So that's why he's called the second Adam. And when he comes back, he's going to deliver the woman from the serpent. The serpent ain't going to have his way with the remnant, man. The serpent has defiled Eve long enough, okay? But the whores of our people who still want to remain in that whore-like state, they're going to be destroyed. And that's what's coming to this earth. Niggas are getting ready to lose. They're going to be wiggling around, screaming, right? But guess what? You can't have a mind to even worry about that. That's not your fight. You got to worry about what? The glory to come for the elect. And those of your family members who be destroyed, your friends, you'll receive them back in the kingdom. Some shape, form, or fashion, man. Those from this life and those from your past lives, man. Everything is going to come to those who love Yahweh Bashim Shai in the spirit. And it's through our sacrifice that everybody else wins. Just like it's through the sacrifice of Yahweh Shai that we win, through our sacrifice, all right, under Yahweh Shai's sacrifice, the whole nation and the earth will be able to be brought back to glory. Call hello, Yahweh Bashim Shai. All right. It says in that there are laid up for us dwellings of healthy and safety, whereas we have lived wickedly. And that the glory of the most high is kept to defend them that have led a weary life, whereas we have walked in the most wicked ways of all. Now, I'm going to jump down just to for the purpose of time. Let's see here. I'm going to jump to verse 57. It says, Then answered he me and said, This is the condition of the battle which man that is born upon the earth shall fight. And this is the condition of the battle, man. It is what it is. It is what it is, yo. It says, This is the condition of the battle which man that is born upon the earth shall fight, that if he be overcome, he shall suffer. As thou hast said, and a lot of our people have been overcome by evil. Okay, here it is. They got the Bible in their hand, but they're with the new world order. Here it is. They got the Bible in their hand and Esau can just come with a device and say, put the here, put this in you. And they don't put up a fight. They don't question it. 
The Lord ain't dealing with people like that. Now, that, can't, that, that doesn't mean particular of them. We may be able to heal particular, but a lot of you ain't going to be healed. A lot of you are too far gone. There, there's some people who have done particular things. And they're like, damn, uh, maybe I should repent. Not to say that that person can't be healed. But there's going to be our people who are like, F it. I'm doing everything the serpents say do. And when it's all said and done, they're going to have eight boosters in their ass. And eventually they're going to take the karagma and be out of there. Okay? So that means you've been overcome. See, we have overcome death. And that's what Esau is th putting all these threats out there for. Because he's trying to scare you into being overcome uh, 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 by death. You see? He's playing on your flesh, threatening your livelihood. Your livelihood ain't according to Esau, Edom. Now, this system is in place. Now, according to prophecy, tell me if, if, if this system is going to last forever. You hear you believers in the Bible. Is America forever? Hell no. The Heavenly Father is getting ready to take this place down. Okay? It says, and you can see it. You can see the elites, the way that they're moving. Man, come on now. To hell with it, man. I'd rather at this point, man, look, I'm going to roll with the Yahweh Bashim al man. Okay? This is the only, where the hell, where the hell else are we going to go? Tell the serpent, okay, bend over? Hell no. Absolutely the F not. Like my, my main man, Yatazak, all right? It says, let me read it again. Therefore, he said unto me, this is the condition of the battle which man that is born upon the earth shall fight. That if he be overcome, he shall suffer, as thou hast said. But if he get the victory, he shall receive the thing I say. All right. The victory, baby. For this is life whereof Moses spake unto the people where he lives, saying, Choose thee life that thou mayest live. And our people hate life. The scriptures say, They that hate me love death. Here it is. We're, we're prophesying of a kingdom. Where the water, the air will be clean, children will be safe, and you you mad at us? So that means you you love death. Okay, so we can't be sad at the judgments that our people are gonna undergo. Even your parents. Now you 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 honor your parents, all right? You don't disrespect your parents, but hey, man, truth be told, you know you you don't want to see it, but a lot of your parents are gonna be a lot of our parents are getting ready to catch hell. Now, I would rather, because my parents are up in age, I would rather the Lord, you know, just take them back to the spirit world. But his will is going to be done either way it go. Maybe some of them may be delivered. Who knows? All right. But ultimately, we have to prepare our minds to see a lot of our people lose and be overcome. It is what it is. And it sounds harsh. All right. But we're not here ultimately to to teach you a message that's pleasing to your flesh. We're here to just tell you the truth, all right? And when I first came into this truth, I was, you know, I'm you know, I'm a nice dude. I'm not, you know, you know, we all grew up in the hood, most of us, but I never took on to that hard mentality. I was, but now I understand why the Lord flooded the earth. Now I understand judgment needs to come forth. Death got to happen because that's the only way. Now I understand Obadiah. See, we were just saying, white man's the devil. Now we get it. We were looking at something the other, yesterday. Dog, they use dogs to test out cigarettes, in particular cosmetics on, man. So you got dogs with things tied to their mouth smoking goddamn cigarettes so they can test to see how it affects this and mice. He's using the creation as a, he's, a, he's a Frankenstein. So now when I read Obadiah and he's exterminated, I get it. I'm, not, I'm no longer just saying it. I get it. And I'm comfortable to go out to the highways and the byways and put myself out there to say it, that people can see me. <laughs> right? I'm 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 at rest now. In the beginning, you be teaching, you be like, "Who gonna see me?" At this point, man, f it. Even you brothers who, because you go through that when you you know, you know, who gonna see me, man, man, f it. At this point, look at the world. If you choosing this world and saying what I'm saying is wrong. Good luck, nigga. <laughs> Good luck. All right. We go see. Because judgment's here. Okay. These niggas about to be dropping dead, foaming out of the mouth, turning into zombies. All types of stuff is getting ready to happen, man. So why are you worried about the opinion of a nigga who don't want to see clean water? 
who will, who will eat something that is supposed to clean the water, knowing that the Lord said, don't eat it. Let them have it. Fear not the incredulity. These people ain't shit, man. They don't stand for nothing. They're not about nothing. They fear Esau. Don't worry about Jake and their opinions, man. Co-workers. These people are dumb as hell. Okay, this nigga still cutting up hot dogs in his spaghetti. All right, big grown-ass man. Don't worry about these people. They're stupid. They're adulterers. Okay, spiritually and physically. Right? Nevertheless, they believe not on him, nor yet the prophets after him, nor on me, which have spoken unto them. Ezra's had to go through it, right? And this is Jake's legacy, the, the two thirds, man, that there should not be much heaviness in their destruction. As shall be joy over them that are persuaded unto salvation. And this is where we are, man. Don't have much heaviness over the destruction of the two thirds. Like you got Jake who pop up every now and then. Are y'all talking about the two thirds? You hate your people. I hate them that hate the Lord. They were made enemies for the gospel's sake, but it's understanding that they're going to come back and be able to partake in the covenant through our sacrifice. This is, hey, we're really, what we're doing is going to restore everybody in Israel to righteousness under Yahweh Shai's sacrifice through the Most High God, Yahweh. I know you sit and wait. Oh, it's just Yahweh Shai? No, it's through the Most High God, Yahweh. All right. It says, <laughs> well, that Hennessy and fried chicken really fuck niggas up, man, in America. You Israelites, you got to watch your fried chicken and brown liquor intake. All right. When you see fried chicken and brown liquor in the same room, if especially if it's Paul Masson or some type of cheap liquor, beware, be on your people. You got to some one of the brothers got to sit back and be like, oh, OK, I'm going to watch. Cause that chicken, that that Paul, that that brown liquor, something, you know. Cause a lot of you dudes just be bugging out, man. A lot of you dudes are bugging the hell out. <laughs> All right, oh that damn chicken, man. I'm just messing around. It says, uh, it says. Let me read it again. Verse sixty. Nevertheless, they believe not on him, nor yet the prophets after him, no nor me, which have spoken unto them. And for real, though, brothers, get a cap on that drinking, man. That drinking, 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 that shit's toxic, man. All right, get a cap on that. Okay, don't be just sitting around just getting drunk every day, all goddamn day. Okay, set some boundaries because that, that stuff is toxic and it's ruining a lot of brothers, man. So be mindful of your alcohol intake. I'm being serious about that. All right? It's just that dark liquor and fried chicken historically has... Had Jake turn Jake into, you know, madmen. So be careful. It says that there, that there should not be heaviness in their destruction. So don't be heavy in their destruction. As shall be joy over them that are persuaded unto salvation. So we're here. We're happy to see the elect waking up. We understand the two thirds are going to be destroyed. I answered then and said, I know, Lord, that the most high is called merciful and that he hath mercy, up, mercy upon them, which are not yet come into the world. There's particular Israelites back then who had to come into the earth and we're here. OK, Lord willing, we're of that number. It says, for if he. For if he shall not multiply his mercies for the world would not continue with them that inherit it. So the story had to play out the way that the Lord wrote it for so that we can get the glory in these times, man. That's how he wanted it. And he was fair enough to give all of you heathen your rules, man. Okay. It says. And he pardoneth, for if he did not so of his goodness, they that which have committed iniquities might be eased of them. Ten thousand part of men should not remain living. And being judged, if he should not forgive them, they are cured, cured with this word and put out of the multitude of contentions. There should be very few left pre-adventure, the innumerable multitude. And that's the remnant. Ultimately, the remnant is going to be saved, man. So let me just read this real quick in 2nd Edges, the 8th chapter. In the 51st verse for you believers, man. 
Let me start at uh, 50. For many great miseries shall be done to them in the latter time that shall dwell in the world because they have walked in great pride. But understand thou for thyself and seek out the glory for such as be like thee. Okay? For unto you is paradise opened, the tree of life is planted, the time to come is prepared, plenteousness is made ready, a city is builded, and rest is allowed, yea, perfect goodness and wisdom. The root of evil is sealed up from you, weakness and moth is hid from you. That's why the scripture says, lay up treasures in heaven, where moth nor rust do corrupt. This world is done, son. Okay? It says... The root of evil is sealed from you, weakness and moth is hid from you, and corruption is fled to hell to be forgotten. Sorrows are past, and is the and in the end is shewed the treasure of immortality. Whew. And ask therefore no more questions concerning the multitude of them that perish, for when they had taken liberty, because this is grace. Okay, you got Jake talking about. We're under the second covenant. No, we're under grace, man. When the Lord puts that second covenant within, that's going to be the laws written in our inward part. The second covenant is when Yahweh returns and beams us up. We can't go into that covenant in this flesh. All right? We're under grace, man. By grace are ye saved through faith. And that's the gift that Yahweh gave us. You had a guy come up to the comma board and say, well, why did we go into captivity if Yahweh Shah died for our sins? The captivities were already written. <laughs> Daniel, the seventh chapter, breaks down the captivity. Yahweh Shah redeemed us from the curse of the law in the fourth beast, right? He redeemed us from the curse of the law, all right, so that we can have grace, so that we can offer up an acceptable sacrifice unto the Most High God, Yahweh, through him in this, in this, this, this mortal flesh. In, in uncircumcision, we can be accepted. Okay, that's what Yahweh Shah did. He brought us back to the Father. He's bringing and, and through the Holy Spirit. But we still would have to go through those captivities that are written. He didn't come to offset prophecy. He came to fulfill prophecy. And us going into captivity is prophecy. Now we have a way out in a victory over these, over captivity through the Holy Spirit. All right. We're standing up on our feet. The spirit of life from God had entered into them. Revelation, the fifth chapter, Yahweh Shai loosed the seals because when you read that chapter, it said they, the, 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 uh, the angel or what was it John, the revelation, he weeped or somebody was weeping because like, damn, the, the books were sealed. So basically, if the books was never open, we would never get out of captivity. So what the Lord did what his sacrifice allowed him to do was go to the right hand side. Okay, and send down the Holy Spirit unto us. He acts as high priest and mediator in the heavens now. He can send down the Holy Spirit and we can be a, a acceptable unto the most high man and brought back. But we still we would do that in captivity. Anyway, man, I'm gonna leave it there. Hopefully I will edify it, man. Giving all praise to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rahakwadash, and double honors. To the apostles, the elders at Great Millstone, peace and salutation until the elect. Shalom.